Alright, welcome back. We have another midweek, which is Explorer. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys are the same, but I don't have a lot of the older sets past the uh, Midnight Hunt. So, I had to kind of make do with what I had. But this gives me the opportunity to use one of my favorite cards in Magic, the Grease Fang. But, before we get into the deck, if you could hit that subscribe button for me, it'd be a small lack for you huge deal for me and be greatly appreciated it helps me grow but what we're gonna run is four fleeting spirits so uh, we can discard a card and it'll exile the spirit but it'll come back at the beginning of the next end step but we need it for the discard so we can drop our big uh vehicles into the graveyard guardian of new banalia for this very same reason refrain's informant uh for the canara so we can discard the big artifacts that we want uh go for the throats for a little bit of control can't stay away return target creature card man value three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield uh this is in case they uh kill your grease fang you have ways of getting them back reckon or bank buster another great card really happy i get to play it again uh adeline resplendent cathar it's a very annoying card. You know, you kind of build up your board presence. And it generally will soak up some kill spells. Uh, Grease Fang. At the beginning of combat on your turn, reveal target vehicle card from your graveyard. Or return target vehicle card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste. And return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of your next end step. And that's why we want to discard uh, as many of the vehicles as we can. Uh, Rafine Scheming Seer. Uh, seer. Uh, we want this for the Canive as well so we can quickly get our vehicles into the graveyard. Wandering Emperor for control. Uh, Surge, uh, Surge Hacker Mech. It's a really uh, fun card to play with. You can kind of destroy up, so, uh, destroy some stuff on the field. Creatures and Planeswalkers, the more you have out. Then we're going to run Sky Sovereign Console Flagship. It is a 6-5 flying, and whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals 3 damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Then we're also going to run 2 Thundersteel Colossal, a 7-7 seven, seven, Trample uh, uh, trample in Haste. Pretty powerful card. And Parhelion II. It has flying, first strike, and vigilance. And whenever it attacks, create 2 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance that are attacking uh lands is really pretty much a mixture of everything you know we got a ganjos otawara akanuma a dark hard waste deserted beaches caves of koilos shattered sanctum shipwreck marsh underground river mech hanger uh, this is just kind of like a ace in the hole, so that way, you know, uh, I like the three man tap and then target vehicle becomes an artifact creature until the turn, so just in case, you know, maybe they've killed your grease fangs or you ain't getting them, you can use this to still attack with your guys. And lastly, Plaza of Heroes to give hexproof and indestructible to legendary creatures, so if you need to keep that grease fang alive, this might help. Uh, I'm really excited to play some Grease Fang again, so let's uh, let's just go ahead and get into it and throw down some cards. All right, Bruviana, ninety-seven. Okay. Um. Oof, that's not good. Okay, that's a bit better. I mean, it's it's okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get um, Swamp down. We don't need the blue just yet. Mm, looks like we're dealing with some mono black here. So let's not run out the Grease Fang into that nonsense. So it'll probably just get, you know, destroyed instantly. Okay. 
Now that's nice. I imagine he's going to try and kill it. Yeah. Not shot. Let's just hope his hand's not just full of that kind of stuff. Or that he plays a shield. In. All right. Get a grease fang out. Big damage there. It's a nasty card. It's like super strong. <laughs> but can't we get some vehicles like that in some of the newer sets? But we are susceptible to a Gix's command. It's gonna have to kill him. No, like he's gonna have to kill all of them, but no such luck today for him. Now you've done it. We've got the edge of this one. All right. First match went pretty, pretty nice. Very interesting. Love this deck. Uh, obviously there could be better upgrades to it, but I have to work with what I have, so here we are. Alright, Robo OSU. Um, yeah, it's not bad, I mean we need some vehicles, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just get a fleeting spirit out. Say the truth. That's pretty interesting. I guess that's some of the fun too of playing, you know, the older stuff like Explorer and all that. Um, let's get the new Benalia out. Swing in. example of why we use those. Those fleeting spirits are super good. Underrated kind of, but I really like them. was lethal man this deck is something else man <laughs> all right let's uh let's go ahead and jump into our last match then all right man beast man bear pig oh 
Well, I'll just keep it at this point. Who cares? They don't want to give me a black sword, so I'm not going to get one. That's just how the game works. Sores. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Well, it looks like we got a douche for our last opponent, so that sucks. Maybe I'll just play one more just to have some actual fun instead of playing against this guy. He assumed what I was playing was humans, but unfortunately that's not the case at all. But when you quit out really fast, it makes you look like an ass and you miss out on a good match. Galactus 420. <laughs> Galactus smoking that gosh. Okay. Not very good, but maybe we can bank buster into something. And then, you know, with these two, we might be able to do something. Hopefully we can get a third land. If not, you know, we'll bank buster into it. Pretty cool slings. I guess he just didn't get what he wanted. Fair enough. Okay. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Oh. That with names. Okay, we got no blue source. But that's okay. I can just kind of hope. Okay, it's one of those decks. Oh, we got a blue source. So I guess there, there's that, you know. Okay. And now we're going to do the whole drawing 50,000 land stuff, huh? Uh. Well, I guess there's that. Can we just quit drawing the fucking land already? God damn. No.
I mean, I guess we could have attacked with that, but he's just gonna block with that thing. Uh, can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. Okay, so... Can't block this okay. Fair enough. It gets to adventures. Wow, still drawing fucking land. Are you goddamn serious with this bullshit already? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Well, let's just go in for it then, I guess. Fuck sake. Rogue deck, okay. Wow, and it's more bullshit. Followed by two more lands. Wow, are you fucking kidding me? That was fucking stupid. I'm not overconfident. You're just underwhelming. My like, that was really fucking fun. stupid. Uh. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see the rogues bullshit, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, and there was our grease thing. Cool. Okay, we don't need that. But, we all can't stay away next turn. On the grease thing. I need to go venture again. Try to. Stop with the flying. Rogues. I'm sure a lot of people are happy to see rogues get shit on, but there it is. Uh, obviously, you know, I just played this one because the last one was really lame, but I uh, figured I'd add another match in here just to kind of fill it out. So in case somebody does watch this far and wants to see, you know, a good match and stuff, well, here you go. But, uh... 
I guess that's midweek. It was a lot of fun. I mean, I got to play Grease Fang again, so that's always a good day for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I sure did. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.